A while ago, I put out a video on YouTube on how you can bring a multi-select choice field from SharePoint to a data table control inside SharePoint. Probably that has a bit of complexity because data table only accept string or text as the values that it can display. This one is a lot easier. In this video, I want to show you how you can bring multi-select choice field from Dataverse, which is technically the same as SharePoint, slightly different in the content, but the way that you deal with it is exactly the same thing. But this time you want to bring it into gallery. This one is a lot easier. You don't need Concat, you don't need anything. There's a control that you can just drop it there and it's gonna work. Let me show you how you can do it. First of all, let's take a look at the table that we have inside Dataverse. It's called YT product. It has two columns. First one is name as expected. The second one is called product category. And product category, if I look into the details of this field, it's a multi-select choice field with these options, seasonal, electronics, fashion, and all the other ones that you can see. So you got an idea what kind of table we are trying to connect. Now I go back inside my Power Apps and I have made a connection to my YT products and I simply attached it to a gallery that shows only title and is connected to YT products. That's it. So basically it just shows the title and this one at the top is just a label. So don't worry about that one. Now I want to show this field inside Power Apps. You don't need label, you don't need anything. Just pick the first card. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Inside the first card, go ahead and insert a combo box. Done. Just bring it here. For the items, instead of combo box sample, let's go to this item dot the field that we want to add here, which is going to be product category. At the moment, if I just run this guy, as you can see at the moment, if I pick, for example, laptop, the selectable options are electronics and office equipment. So we are getting closer, but this is not what we are looking for. Let's get out of here. And I pick the combo box in the first cell, which is my data card. This is the only one selectable. You cannot select the others. So I pick this one. For the items, whatever that is, I just copy it. And now again, I come to default selected items. Where is it? And I just stick this guy here. Now you can see every item that is selected as the category of every single record in the table is selected inside the combo box. I think the next step is easy. You just need to pick this guy, you go to the display mode and make it view. Done. Let me run it and you have everything comma delimited in this read-only mode. And if this short video made your day, probably you can make mine. That was it. It was a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what other topics you want to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.